Good day, students. In this video, we are going to continue solving quadratic equations using the difference of two squares. Now, the main difference with these equations is we first have to take out a common factor. And in fact, this might be a good time to point out, I think one of almost the, the axioms of solving any equation is always take out common factors first. Always factorize first. Once you've done that, then you figure out what you have to do second. So for this particular question here, I've got 2x squared take 32 equals 0. There's a common factor of 2. That leaves in brackets x squared take 16 equals 0. So I didn't have a nice uh, difference of squares originally, but now that I've taken out the common factor of 2, I do. So now I've got a squared minus b squared. That factorizes into a plus b times a take b equals 0. So now I have three factors equaling 0. So I could say, well, x plus 4 equals 0, or x minus 4 equals 0. Can I say 2 equals 0? Well, obviously not. The 2 doesn't equal 0. So in terms of solving the equation, we can pretty much ignore the 2. And just write either x plus 4 equals 0 or x take 4 equals 0. And therefore, x either equals negative 4 or x equals positive 4. So that equation once again has two solutions. Okay, let's have a look at uh, this one over here. 2x squared take 18 equals 0. Well, once in fact, I'll leave that one for you to do. And I'll go and do the one down here. 3x squared take 75 equals 0. So again, we always look for a common factor first. The common factor in this case is 3. So we factorize out the 3. x squared take 25 equals 0. And that's now a difference of two squares. a is equal to x, b is equal to 5. So we can factorize that into the form x plus b, x take b equals 0. And now we can use the null factor law. Well, 3 can't equal 0, but we can say that x plus 5 equals 0. Or x take 5 equals 0. And if that's true, x must be negative 5. And to solve that equation, x must equal 5. So again, there's the two solutions to that quadratic equation. OK, scroll back up to the top. And I'd like you, please, to have a go at solving those two equations on the right. OK, welcome back, students. So hopefully you didn't have too much trouble with these. They're, they're pretty straightforward. With the first one, I take out a common factor of 2. And I get x squared take 9 equals 0. And factorizing use, using difference of squares, 2 times x plus 3 times x take 3 equals 0. So a times b is 0. The null factor law says either x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. And therefore, x is either negative 3 or x is positive 3. So there's the two solutions to that one. And the final equation down here, very similar once again. We take out a common factor of 5. And that leaves x squared take 4 equals 0. Difference of squares. That becomes x plus 2, x take 2. And that means that either x plus 2 equals 0 or x take 2 equals 0. 
and either x equals negative 2 or x equals positive 2. So that's how we can solve um, certain quadratic equations using the technique of uh, difference of squares.